I don't know, I'll, I'll be splitting it up. Whatever. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> Something may appear on TV. God damn it! I won't have time to save! Ah, <sighs> crap. I can do it. Someone appeared. It's a silhouette, but it looks even blurrier than usual. You can't even tell what gender the person is. Crap. It's a very small figure, though. So... Must be a really short person. He's shorter than Nauto. Hey, did you see that? It was really blurry, but you saw someone on the screen, right? Damn it. Is there gonna be another kidnapping? Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. Crap. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. God damn, you and we can't figure it out. But maybe someone has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. I don't, uh, I don't. I needed to save beforehand. I was gonna do a separate recording for this next part, for part 100. Oh well, this is part 100, guys. This is where everything gets crazy. Saturday, the fifth of November. Ugh. I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Who the hell was it, Could though? any of you tell who it was? Nobody could. From a fuzzy picture like that, no way. Why the hell am I not sitting next to Yukiko? Yosuke, we need to trade spots. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? There's just that guy, but... Like the guy who went to the school. Hmm, I can't think of it. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Hmm. Huh, what's the matter? Oh yeah, they stuck you at the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan and I'm serious about living! From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? Yeah, it was even shorter than Naoto. It can't be... Maybe it's a kid. I mean, it was at a school, so... Makes sense. I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream, or your imagination. Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. It's now evening. Hey, I'm back. Hey, Dojima. Wait, wait. What's that in his hand? That looks like another letter. I've got a bad feeling about this. Welcome back! Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. Alright, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... The letter is addressed to Mr. Joshua Rendon, but the name and address of the sender are nowhere to be found. Fuck! It's him again! There are no stamps or postmarks on it. There's only one sentence. If you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Could he have sent another person warning because another person appeared on the Midnight Channel? Hey, what the hell is this? Fuck! 
damn it! Jig is up. We're caught. Not often we get letters with no return address on them. So, I was right. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? What are you up to? So you're not gonna be honest with me. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. I will have the truth from you today. But I just told you the truth! D Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good, got that? It's alright. We're not fighting. We'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? We'll be back soon. Okay. I'll be waiting. <sighs> we're here already. I find it hard to believe, but we're at this point in the game. I honestly never thought I was going to make it. I'll hold on to this. Damn it, my phone you took away your cell. You bastard. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. But it's the truth, damn it! Enough! That's enough! I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. <sighs> it's a shame. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. Alright, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. And why the hell are you so happy about that? And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age! We'd get worried if we didn't <laughs> I love when he says that. <laughs> it's just a cheap kids model, though. <laughs> Thank you, Yosuke! 
So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was gonna remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? I wanna go to Nana-chan's place. I promise to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. He's still not picking up. Oh, duh, I forgot to try his home line. Hello? Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? Stop blabbering and let me talk, too! Good evening. This is your Teddy speaking. Let's get together and eat snacks again! Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait... Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Shit's getting real, guys. Shit's getting real. Look, this is the climax of the whole game, pretty much. You're getting- it doesn't get any more crazy than what's gonna happen in a few minutes. That's all I'm saying right now. You're gonna find out right here and now. Time passes slowly. It's midnight. It was raining outside when he got here. Something may appear on the midnight channel. Someone appeared. It's blurry, but you can see a small silhouette. It's a girl, most likely someone in grade school. Shit, no. No! 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 It's... It's not a go! Fuck! It's not a go! They got it's get what I'm not there. God damn it. Dojima, let me out of here. There's no way that you could mistake Nanako, whom you see every day. Nanako is on the Midnight Channel. Fuck. Damn it. Your uncle Dojima took away your cell phone. Shit. There's no way to contact your friends right now. God damn it, Dojima. Let me out of here. Your daughter's going to get kidnapped next. They're going to try to kill her next. God damn it. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. Damn it, no! They got her! Damn it! Somebody stop her! Fuck! You bastard, I'll get him! Meanwhile, on the road to the Dojima residence. Damn it, Naoto, don't be too late! Wasn't that Nanako chan on the Midnight Channel just now? How could it be her? How? Why could it be her? Why did it have to be her? I know what you're thinking, but Nanako-chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well-known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako-chan. 
A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god. I should have realized it much sooner. I should have realized it too. Damn it. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. Oh, what are we going to do? Nanako-chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun too. They'll explain the situation there. Alright, I'll join them right away. And I'll let Yukiko and Risei-chan know. Yes, please do. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. They got her. Some now until you better get there quick. Don't let the guy get away. Sometime later in a room at the police station. Fuck. Hmm? What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako-chan's missing. What? They got they did take her. Fuck. What? What do you mean? Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Dojima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... We have to hurry. Still time. Why? Why, Nanako? Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, alright. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Who the fuck cares? Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way- Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! Jima left by himself. Crap! <sighs> what am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half-cocked. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too. So please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! Damn right! So time for that! Let me go so I can go get Nanako! The hell are 
are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. No, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. So is the killer someone Nanachan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? I don't know. Hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice. Is there such a thing? What would it be? A delivery truck. That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is gonna be... A lot more difficult then. Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Taro Namatame. Namatame? What the f- No way! Inca Singer's husband! All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. All we gotta do is find the delivery truck. The address is 
It's not far from here. <sighs> I give him the clue, and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Namatame! Gonna get him now. Fuck. No, not Dojima 2! What the? Hey, is that smoke? An accident? <gasps> no, not a go! Doubt Dojima 2? Dojima-san, are you alright? Where's Nanako? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call backup too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? <gasps> what happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house when I saw him drive past me. I gave chase and he. Damn it. And where is Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find him. Uh, please. But how? Oh, yeah. Maybe there's clues in the truck. Wait, you can't! We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell's he mean by that? <gasps> this... it's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? Namatame, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna make sure you don't get away with what you've done. I managed to take her to safety. Oh shit, we're too late. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He'd just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! We 
we need to go save Nanako Chan. Here, let's use this TV and Yes, let's go. Let's go right now. I wanna go save her quickly. Before Namatame can do anything else or before the shadows can kill her. Well, wait a sec. We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san. You guys. Are you all right? I almost look like hell right now. <laughs> Nanako, she's my reason for living. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. <sighs> she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. And here I am. <coughs> when she needs me most, I'm. I'm helpless. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Don't you, my son? If anything happens to Nanako. I'll make Namatame. Same goes for me. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. I promise you, Dojima. I will rescue Nanako, even if it costs me my life. I will save her. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. You can sense stronger determination than usual from everyone's expressions. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's we no don't need mistake. to find any more clues, because I know Nanako well enough to even give you any hint you might need to help. So we can easily find where she is now. The police should be pursuing Namatami, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah! We're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Yeah. This is it. Let's go all out and get it done. I made a promise with Nanachan. I said that we'd play again, and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. And now I promised Ojima I will save Nanako no matter what, even if it costs me my life. I will. So we have promises to keep, Teddy. Let's fulfill them. Yeah, so let's save her. We're doing it for Dojima-san, too. <laughs> He'll owe us another watermelon. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on, we can do this, guys! No problem! Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. 
Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. Everyone's feelings are one. Rank 9 with the Fool. Investigation team social link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Fool Arcana has grown. You'll rescue Nanako for sure before the next foggy day. You damn right I will! We will rescue Nanako. In fact, I think we're going into the TV right now. Let's enter the damn TV. Let's go! Alright, let's go! Coming for you, Nanako. Don't worry, I will save her. I can assure you guys of that especially. Look at this thick fog. Does this have something to do with all the fuss about the fog lately? Yeah, it's getting thicker. Not even the glasses are doing that good anymore. Something's weird in here. I think all the commotion in town has been affecting this world, too. Well, we need to hurry now. Rise, can you tell which direction Nanako-chan is in? I sense her... that way. Wow, what's this warm feeling? Senpai, we need to save her. Yeah, we will. We definitely will. Let's go! Are these the pearly gates? Nanako-chan's? It's so beautiful. It's like a storybook vision of heaven. Like heaven, huh? Deep down, Nanako-chan must really miss her. I'm sure she does. She's only a child. In her heart of hearts, Nanako seems to have missed her deceased mother. I don't blame her. She lost her at such a young age. We have to do everything in our power to Oh yes, you. definitely we are, Yukiko. I'm gonna give it all I've got to rescue Nanako. I will need all of you, though. Of course! We're gonna rescue Nanachan no matter what! We can find Namatame later and give him what's coming to him then. First, we need to rescue Nanako-chan. It's the same as always, however the stakes are higher. Now we're talking about somebody we care for. Okay guys, let's start forming up the team. Broske, I will need you especially. Let's go save her. Should we leave soon? I'm sure she's waiting for her big bro. We will need to work harder for Nanako's sake. And Kanji? Hurry it up, man. We can't just sit around like this. You're damn right we can't. Let's do this nice and quick. Okay, guys. You know the, the same agenda that I've had. What we're gonna have to do is go back to Naoto's dungeon and get all stuff there and just take on the mini-boss there and get Naoto's special weapon. Actually, I won't lie. We will be using Naoto for a certain part of the dungeon here. But aside from that, next time, we're going to heaven. We are going to save Nanako. We're going to begin our process in saving Nanako. So, things are going to get crazy from here on. You are in the climax of the story, guys. This, the game does not get any better. In fact, it's getting better than this. So, I hope you guys especially stick around for this. So, if you like the video, leave a comment, rate, subscribe. Check out the other videos. Till next video, stay gold. I'll see you all in heaven. Take care.